So summer's here and it's already hot as all get out. So what I want to do real quick, I want to give you a few things you can grow in extreme temperatures so you can beat the heat and be successful in gardening this year. So the first thing that absolutely loves heat is okra. There's all different varieties of okra. I can't even begin to tell you which variety this is uh, of okra, but they all seem to do very well the hotter it gets. Now, one of the challenges that we have here in uh, Zone AB is that during the summertime, you could pretty much forget about growing brassicas. You could really much forget about growing brassicas and that from the mid end of spring all the way up until like, honestly, September sometimes because it's just too hot. However, here's a few alternatives if you do want to grow brassicas that thrive in the heat. Number one is a Egyptian spinach. This is Egyptian spinach, uh, sometimes called Molkov. Does very well in extreme temperatures. This is a green amaranth. They come in all different colors. Really enjoys the heat. Now I just started growing this last year, but this is my Malabar spinach. It absolutely thrives in the heat. Just a warning, do not compost it. It will grow back everywhere in places you don't want it to grow. Next, we have a, a Ethiopian cabbage. It's a non-heading type of cabbage, and it honestly, it's really more similar to like a collard green, but it does really well in the heat. And then there are basil. Now, this is just a typical basil, but there are some. There is a lettuce leaf variety of basil. It gets very large. You can make great sandwiches with it. But it's a great alternative when you can't grow lettuce. Of course, you got your trying two tomatoes. They love the heat. This is my lemon boy variety doing really well. And then peppers. This is my chocolate candy pepper. It's doing extremely well in the heat. So those are just a few things that I'm growing to beat the heat. Uh, my tomatoes, my peppers, and then some of my heat tolerant brassicas. I'll do another video show you a few other things, but those are things that really thrive in this Texas heat. Remember, gardening don't gotta be complicated or expensive. Just get out and grow some. So if you are in a hot climate area and you're doing your gardening, I really would like to know what do you choose to grow that's drought and heat tolerant. Go ahead and do me a favor, jump in the comments and post your favorite vegetable growing in extreme temperatures.